posting content to all the major platforms for your personal or your business can be incredibly time consuming and can be expensive. Recently, many tools have allowed you to automate part of this process like Zapier and Make.com. However, you still end up having to write the blog post yourself or get stuck with bland generic articles from ChatGPT, which let's be honest, nobody reads. This is the exact same problem that I faced when I was setting up the content machine for my business. And the problem is I am super lazy and hate writing. So I got to work. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I fully automated the content process, posting to multiple channels such as our Medium blog, WordPress blog, Twitter, and LinkedIn, while also using state-of-the-art AI agents to go out and do the research for me so the content stays fresh and up to date, while also incorporating a mid-journey API to automate the image generation process. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so I wanna just quickly go over the broad system design quickly before we jump into the nitty gritty detail. So for storing all our content and all the links to all the posts, we're gonna be using Airtable. So we're gonna kick off our automation from make.com. This is gonna create a new row in Airtable. And then another automation in make.com is gonna be watching for any new rows that are created in Airtable. Once a new row is created, we're gonna grab a topic from a Google Sheets where I've got over a hundred different, different topics of content that I wanna write about, that I want the AI to write about. This is then going to kick off. So this is all in make.com. This is going to kick off my research agent, which I'm hosting as an agent. I'll get on to that more later. So once that research agent is done, it's going to come back with a highly dense set of research from multiple web pages on the internet. And it's gonna contain all the, the critical information in a short, short amount of text, basically, so we don't hit the context length in GPT-4 when we're generating the blog. But then we get, have a blog generator. So this is a series of GPT-4 calls to generate everything from the title to the blog, to the schema, to the slug, to to the tags this all gets put back into Airtable where we're basically waiting for a confirmation so this is me going into Airtable just having a look at the content and confirming it again you don't have to do this step you can leave this step out and have it just automatically post the content for you or you can have this step in in multiple different places so you can confirm depending on how much control that you want so then we post to WordPress and then we get the URL back. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm gonna be posting the main article to WordPress and then doing summaries on LinkedIn, Medium and Twitter. You can also post the full article to LinkedIn and, and Medium if you want, but my general goal is to move as much traffic from these secondary social medias onto my site. So we're going to do WordPress and then we are gonna have a summary. And then this summary is going to be posted to Instagram media and Twitter. And then finally, we're going to set all the URLs to those posts back to Airtable so that if we ever want to look at them in the future, we've got that all there for traceability. Oh, and I also forgot something. We are also going to use Midjourney. We're gonna use a third party API to generate images for this blog. So after we do the blog generator, we're gonna hit the Midjourney API and then store that image back into Airtable to use in the blog and in the summary posts. Okay, so let's get into it. So this is what I have in Airtable. These are two, two articles that I've already created. We just have a unique content ID, a created time, a process stage. So here we'll have review. So this is when it will go away and it will do it. It'll set it for review. Then ready to post is I will select ready to post and it will go away and post. And then posted will mean it's already been sent out. So we just have a title, here is where we have the blog research. So this is what the research agent actually gives back. It gives back a chunk of text and it gives back a, a bunch of sites as well where it's gotten this from. And then we have the blog content. So you can have a look at the blog content. And then what's also nice is it will give references at the end. We also do blog content in HTML. So I use this to post to, to the WordPress blog. Basically, so we just format the format the headings and do some bolding this is all done by ai as well we create a mid journey prompt and then here is where we store the the mid journey images 
The nice thing about using Midjourney compared to the other software like Dali and stuff like that is you're just gonna get super nice, super nice images. And I'm gonna show you how to fully automate that as well. We create the slug, which is basically the U URL. We create some tags for, for, for Medium. And then once these are posted, they're sent back with their links. Great, so let's jump into make.com and I'll show you the different workflows that we have. So we've basically just got four workflows here and let's run through them in order. So this workflow is just to kick off the content cycle. It's super simple. Basically every day Airtable is just going to create a new record. What I'm also gonna show you here as well is I'm using the free version of Airtable, which doesn't actually allow you to run scripts. So I'm gonna show you how to set up this whole automation without having to write any scripts in Airtable to hit webhooks and so on. But if you wanted to use scripts, it just makes it the process of generating the content a, a bit faster. But since it's generating one set of content every day, I really don't care if it takes, you know, an extra 15 minutes to, to do so. So this basically all this does is come to Airtable and it just creates a new row. New row and just gives it a content ID and a time created. This then will get picked up by the create blog post scenario. So basically I have an Airtable, an Airtable node here that basically looks for if there's a new row that's been created. And if it's been created, we go to our Google Sheets, which looks something like this. It's just got a bunch of different titles. I generated this with GPT-4 and a bit of prompt engineering. And it's also got a status to see if it's been used or not. So this, this, this just basically just grabs the next title that's not been used. We put it into a JSON and then we ping it to my research agent API. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about how this API is built, you can go and watch this video after, after you've finished watching this. You don't need to know the exact internal workings. I'll explain it here. Basically, it's an AI agent that has a web browser and web scraping ability. It basically goes, does a search, gets a bunch of links, and then goes to a bunch of pages, scrapes all that stuff down, summarizes that page, so extracts all, all the relevant information, and the agent keeps repeating these steps until it has enough dense information to send back. So this way, instead of just scraping a couple pages and maybe getting 3,000, 4,000 words back, you're gonna get back maybe like 500 words of super dense information from multiple sites. So that comes back. We update the Airtable, just play, pasting in the data. And then this is where we start generating the article. So the, a, a good way to create a blog is first create the outline for the blog and then write the blog. So we create the outline. We pass it in sort of the title, the idea and the data. Then we come here, we actually write the data and we pass everything in as well. And then we get a title and each time I'm just saving it to a variable, it just makes it cleaner to, to export at the end of, instead of trying to find which, which chat GPT completion is related to what. Then we create the slug using the title. We create some tags. Here we create the, the, the Twitter. We create the Twitter snippet. I've also included a checker as well, because a lot of the time when you tell these large language models to keep to a certain character length, they can't actually do that because they don't count as they generate. They they predetermine the, the, the length before they actually start generating. So they don't actually know how long it is. Like I, they can't see what they're gonna write out and then count. It's all just probability. So basically we pass it back in and we tell it to sort of put it to a, to a smaller character set. Then we create the mid journey prompt, giving the, the whole blog. And then we take the blog and we also convert it to HTML, telling it to use H3 tags for headings and titles and to bold certain keywords. Then we go back to the Google Sheets and we just set the status to use. So obviously we don't want to use the same title and content again. And then we save everything back to it and then do a HTTP request to our other make.com scenario. You're just using a webhook. So this is to kick off the mid journey prompt. So let's run this scenario and I'll just show you sort of the output that, that we get from it. Oh, for, it's actually not returned anything because I've not created a new row. So come here, create a new row. And now if we run it, we should go. Yeah, here we go. So we're getting so we're going to be writing a blog about using AI to automate sports analytics and performance tracking. So now we're going to our research agent. This takes about 20 seconds. Okay, so we've got the research back. Let's have a look into Airtable. Okay, we've got some research back. Now we're running our ChatGPT4 completions. So that's just completed the outline. So let's have a look at that. 
So we've got an outline here now, and now we're going to write the blog. Okay, here we go. So let's have a look at the blog content. Nice, so it's formatting nicely. It's giving us a bunch of research links as well. Research links at the bottom. We can look at the HTML. So there's HTML code for Medium. We've even got a prompt. Look at this. Capture the excitement on the field of an AI generation action, action shot style of the dynamic digital illustration by Banksy. We got our slug, we got our tags. So that's everything. So now we want to kick off the Midjourney API. So let me show you how we do that. So basically, once the blog is kicked off, it's gonna to send to this webhook, which basically creates a JSON. I'm giving it an aspect ratio of three to two. What we're using is a API called slash imagine.pro. So Midjourney doesn't have their own API, but there are people who have built APIs that basically take the image and interact through the the mid journey to score bot it's not too expensive you can just come here add like 195 credit it gives you like 10 10 images that you can generate and then we can hit the rest api i found their rest api isn't like super reliable but it seems to be the best on the market so far so we make a request here and then we do a time.sleep so i'm just sleeping for 270 seconds because obviously mid journey takes some time to generate the image and then we're doing a get request to get the result. So once it's hopefully finished, we sleep again. I'm just grabbing the task ID here. And then what we're doing is we're upscaling. So here I'm giving it a task ID and I'm just saying, hey, upscale position one. So mid journey comes back with a set of four images and then you can upscale each one. So I'm just upscaling the first one and then I am saving this to Airtable. So I'm passing in the Airtable ID, which I'm passing in through the webhook and the image URL. So it will go, it will download from the site once it's done. Okay, so that's now gone and run automatically. And as you can see, it's populated and uploaded the image. Let's take a look at this. So our article is about sport. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now this is where I've held it because I just want to review to make sure nothing's super wrong with it. You can take out the stage, so it'll just automatically post. So I'm going to have a look, review it, and then once I want it to post, we're going to hit ready to post. Now, if you're using a paid version of it, once you hit this, you can just hit our webhook and do it like we just hit the mid-journey webhook. But the way I've got it set up for the, the free version, is that we're just waiting for an air table and basically every 15 minutes we're going to have a look and then we're going to see if there's anything with process stage ready to post so let's just run this instead so it's picked it picked it up we're posting it to wordpress here now here we're generating the snippet for linkedin and medium so i don't want to post the whole post to in linkedin and medium we're going to do just a snippet Okay, that's done. The Twitter actually failed. We got an error 400 and I think I know exactly what that's going to be. That's because we've got a way too big tweet. So I didn't check that for something like this. We would just want to delete that. So that's why we do sometimes have a checking, even though I've got like two chat GPT functions telling it to keep it under 220 characters. It still can fail like that because chat GPT is just not very good at counting. So I'm probably going to include some code to, to cut it off at some point. So let's check that it's posted. So on my site, here we go. So we've got the latest, latest article. We have the image in the background and we have the latest article with links. Look at that, if we click the link, it will even go to the link. Okay, let's check it in. There we go. So it's posted the, the snippet and then we've got a link to the actual article as well. Let's look at Medium. There we go, so we got a title, we get the image through, we get this, and then we get a link as well. So guys, this is how you can completely automate all of your content, keep it up to date, keep it fresh. You can add in all your other channels such as Instagram, Facebook, and just completely set this on autopilot. You can also have this just running constantly, so you can have this running three to four, five times a day, and it's just gonna generate five blog posts for you per day. So if you want to get your SEO up on your site, this is a great tool to use while also providing a lot of value to the, the user. So if you enjoyed this video and you're a company that wants to work with me, if you want something like this built out for your company, I've got an email in the description.